So, let's have a quick look on the interface of GeoMusica. GeoMusica is based on the split screen logic. So, you just have one half for render, and uh, that's actually the visualization of the geometry, and another half for settings and controls, so you can change the geometry. So, let's start by the top right button here, which is Quit. Quit will close all the processes that are running for GeoMusica. And then you have the settings button. On the settings there are not yet much settings on the render. You just can change the UI address if you are running the UI process on a different machine. And of course you can navigate through the about section and check it out. You have a help development button. This is a very important one. Press it, please. And you can bring up the engine process on this button and the synth process on this one. You can also change to window mode and change back to full screen. So, on the left side, what we have here is a top section that is always the same for every layer and a bottom section that it's different for each layer. You can notice that if you generate a different amount of layers and you can select those layers and you see a different color on the UI and that will indicate that you are doing settings for other parts of the layer system. Let's go back to layer 1, only one layer, it's simpler to work on. And let's check it out, all these buttons here. MIDI panic. It's a very interesting one because sometimes MIDI notes get stuck. And you can use this to get out of the stuck notes. The circles will indicate the current frequency of each vertice of the geometry on a circle or planar space. It's very useful for compositions. Single part wall layers, quantize and copy to will be covered on a more advanced tutorial. You also have access to the TD Morph side of GeoMusica. Here you can open a set of presets. Sorry, you can save your own set of presets, you can expand the user interface and open all the modules or collapse, and you can open the scene launcher. Geomusica has a standard set of scenes for demonstration purposes that you can explore. And you also have the TD Morph button where you can just drag and drop any parameters that you want to change and just do the compositions. For the layer section, there are three columns. The first column will deal with basic geometry. So you have the number of vertices and the number of copies. So zero copies, no geometry. And three, four, five, six, whatever number until 12. 
that's for the shape number of vertices let's just turn on light because it's more beautiful to see and you will also have the global scale setting which will set the actual frequency of the vertices of the geometry and you have if you have more than one copy you have the angle setting and that's just the offset between each copy so you can generate interesting rhythmic patterns just by changing the angle you also have the step scale which will change the scale of each shape by a step value of one time control that's on the second column that's the intermediate section so you can sync jam music to the tempo you have different levels of multiplications Or you can just let it run free with no sync and just a speed setting. You can also set a curve so that the flow of movement will not be linear. The modulus, it's very important the concept of geomusic creation and it's basically a division of a string between zero and the global scale frequency so if we set the global scale to a standard frequency and if we use six copies for instance if you use six on the model it will distribute the geometry by division of 6 or 5 or 4 or 3 or 2 or no division the alt step it will generate an alternated step of transformation between each copy so if we have two copies the second copy will go to a different frequency by this ratio the third copy will also go but the fourth copy will be on the first so on and so forth so it's alternated maybe good for some counterpoint exercise let's keep it on default values the mod multiplication will change the way the models work so for instance if you are working with models 8 by dividing by 8 the difference between 0 or the number space between 0 and, and the global frequency you can multiply that space and now you're just changing the range of the modulus
on the third you get the more advanced stuff some visual elements and the lag button very important so you can see the geometry only by the dots only by the lines or only by the frequencies and you can actually change the note velocity which corresponds to the mg of the note so when in fixed mode only the maximum value will work so if it is zero you get no notes and 127 will be maximum fortissimo maximum <laughs> okay so that's fixed and then you have different other different settings that you can explore all of those will work with a minimum and a maximum and you can actually see if you only use the dots visualization you can see the patterns velocity then you have models reorder which will reorder the way if you are using models the geometry gets arranged so nothing will do nothing it just keeps the, the same order default order if you use pattern you'll notice that you can change the way the notes are played by a different pattern and you can experiment until you find a nice rhythm random it's same principle but random and you can group by two or group by three or, or you can skip any groupings just explore under geometry shaping let's have a look at the fractal so the fractal will do a subdivision of the shape by the number that you indicate here so two segments three segments four segment and so on and so forth Euclid will be covered on a more advanced uh, tutorial you can also delete points So imagine that you have like two dodecahedrons and you want to delete some random points. So every 12 points I want to delete four. There you go. And because it's random, it's choosing choosing different points and you can also use carve and just carve the geometry to the point that you want to use and last but not least you have temperament and duration So here, in the same principle as note velocity, you can choose fixed duration or pattern based duration or models are random. And 
these settings only work if you are not in endless mode, but because endless mode will mean that the notes have no note off. So if you turn on finite, 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 sorry, it will generate a note that has a maximum duration. As you can hear here, let's bring up the speed. And then you can just fine tune the note duration. You can also see that the size of the dots will correspond to the duration. This button here will change the temperament. This will only work if you are using a polyphonic aftertouch synth and a polyphonic aftertouch digital audio workstation. So there will be a video tutorial only for this setting. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial on basic use of Geo Music. Stay tuned for more video tutorials and press the help development button please. Bye!